I'm a double Gemini. So there's always going to be like five different reasons why I wrote something or why I made something. But like the sort of like mythic story of slave play is the story of being at a party with some friends and hearing someone say something that sounded crazy to me. And then um, me taking that crazy thing and adding um, an inquiry around race to it and seeing how that changed the sort of energy in the room. And when that energy changed in the room, I was like, oh, I think this is a play. I titled the play Slave Play because uh, there was a history of plays about slavery. And at the time when I was writing it, I was like, I want my play to be the comment on all, all of those plays. Because I felt like so often people were able to walk out of a theater having seen a play that for me was so resonant. And then I'd see people, white, black, brown, who could dismiss it for whatever reason. I saw white audiences dismissing it because they were like, I'm not like the white people in that story. I could see black people dismissing it because they were like, what does slavery have to do with my moment now? Like, I wanna see plays about something else. And I could see brown people dismissing it because they're like, well, I'm not in this at all. Like, there's no mention of me in this, so like, I have no interest in that. So I wanted to create a play that might be a bridge for all of those things that like, were from this antebellum moment to the moment we're in now, to say like, we haven't gotten that far. And in 400 years, a lot hasn't changed in our country. Um, structures have changed, you know, I'm not, I'm no longer in chains, but like, I still am systemically going to like, have worse healthcare, like live a less, a, a worse quality of life, and like also have like, a litany of other things that are um, affecting me and my family that very few white families statistically will have happen um, to their families as well. So I wanted to write a play that bridged that. Each of these relationships are relationships that are like incredibly fraught. Color carries a weight, a weight that like in our present moment, it's easy for us to forget. We get to sit with characters trying to lift the weight of color with their partner throughout this play. When we meet Jim and Kanisha, we're meeting two people on wildly discordant paths, trying to get to the same place. So we watch this couple in a tug of war, a tug of war that's gendered, a tug of war that's raced, and a tug of war that's historicized, wherein like what is most required in this tug of war is one of the partners taking the, taking the time to like let go of the rope and listen to where the other person wants them to go. This show is all about conversation and the play ends in an ellipses, um, which is an invitation for people to begin speaking. And I'm excited to see how the general Broadway crowd or the general uptown crowd has a conversation with the kids downtown who like go to opening ceremony um, with the same frequency that people go to the Walter Kerr, you know, uptown.